Hello and welcome to Comic Reviews. My name is Z and thank you for stopping by the channel and clicking on this video. Today I have uh, a ton of comics laying around. There's what you see on the desk um, and then I have piles under the desk that you cannot see. Uh, but I decided to actually separate my collection from Marvel and DC because I had them all just kind of bunched together and a lot of them weren't bagged and bored. A lot of them weren't even in a box. So uh, I'm actually going to do that now. So I have the eTronic comic box. These things are pretty nice. I like them a lot. They have the um, <clears throat> kind of separators in there, kind of holds the comics. You can hold quite a bit of comics in here. Then it has like all types of, you know, weather resistant, water resistant, all that good stuff. So uh, pretty good comic box here. So really, I'm just going to dive right into this organization. I'm looking around here trying to see which comics I want to put in first. I'm definitely going to start with DC since my DC collection is much smaller than my Marvel collection. And my Marvel and DC collection is much smaller than my Thor collection. So Thor's, they have their own two boxes that, um, that they go in. So I'm not going to be doing them today. I'll do that in another video. <clears throat> but today I'm going to be doing the DC. So uh, I think I will try to go with some of the older stuff first. I want the older stuff in the back. Then I'll put kind of the newer stuff towards the front of it. Um, I've got a couple here. Now these are really old, especially to me. Um, reverse Flash number one. So like this thing says 23.2. This was actually like kind of one of the first comics I ever bought. I think I bought them at the same time, maybe, but uh, these two flash, I, I know it was this one. So this is about, whenever this came out, this is around the time I started collecting comics. I can't even remember what year that was. Oh, 2013. Have I really been collecting for that long? What the heck? 2013. <clears throat> That's when this came out, so uh, I think I'll put that in the far, far back there. Some other really old ones. I think I want to keep my Supermans together, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this here. So I have, I have some Aquaman's that I also purchased. These are quite old as well, uh, more 2013, so. Only six, so when I, when I started collecting, I didn't know how to collect. So I just see a comic, I liked it, pick it up, and yeah, <laughs> just kind of go from there. So this is like issues 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I did good there, but um, yeah, I just kind of started. I just picked them up and just let it go. <clears throat> Those are dope. Um, I got quite a bit of quite a bit of Superman here. Let's see. This is I have how many Supergirls? So this is Supergirl. This is the Red Daughter. So this was where Supergirl had got a hold of the Red Lantern ring, and I didn't fully collect it. So because you know. I didn't really know what I was doing, but they get issues 28, 29, and 30. I think this is where the uh, Red Daughter of Krypton started, was in this one. So I saw that little tagline and just decided to, you know, to get those. So we'll put those in. Then Batman Superman. So this was a cool one. I had collected it. I didn't really like the art in it at first. So I got issue one. I'm like, yeah, I'm not too too much a fan of the art. So then I missed out on issues two, three, four. And I got five, six, and seven. So there's a huge chunk missing there. But it uh, the artwork changed up over time. But um, it was actually pretty a pretty good read. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, I didn't fully collect it. <clears throat> um, 
let's do this was another one that was kind of one of my one of my first this was DC versus Masters of the Universe so you got He-Man and his crew versus the pretty much the Justice League and um, this was a pretty interesting story I can't really remember how it ended but I do remember that uh, Superman was removed from play and then I think He-Man ended up killing a version of Superman it, I think it was like a stand-in so he ended up killing the stand-in and then uh, what's the guy's name Skeletor had uh, Superman like in this kind of like imprisonment thing and he was like weakened it was pretty dope and Skeletor looked it awesome too he was a uh, super buff. Yeah, so this jump was dope. This was back in 2013 also. What else? <clears throat> I think I will go ahead and do these Supermans. Ugh. So this is Hell. Or you could probably pronounce it Hell. I don't know. But um, this... Uh, was the um, Krypton Returns and I'm not e I can't even remember if this is actually a part of it I got it because I saw him on this cover and then I saw him here and it said number one so I figured they went together but I, I can't remember if they actually go together or not but this is the Krypton Returns this was a uh, a pretty good story I, I liked it I can remember it a little bit um, <clears throat> basically like Krypton comes back somehow I think it's due to hell um, but Superboy, Supergirl and Superman all get um, transported to this Krypton and it doesn't have like a, a yellow sun it has the red sun so Supergirl she loses her powers very fast Superman's like yeah, I got a lifetime of, you know, yellow sun energy. I'll be good for a while. So he was tight. And then Superboy, I believe he ended up dying by like, giving his life or something. It was a pretty cool story. <clears throat> Let's see here. So we'll keep Superman scale. I got this random, this random Superman. I don't even know what this is. It says the real truth about Krypton. I probably got it just because it's holographic and cool. But I'll go ahead and uh, put that in there. Then I got a couple of action comics from the New 52. Uh, once again, I was terrible at collecting. So I got like issue 8. And then issue, was that, 19 and 20? So I like, just absolutely had no clue what was going on. This is terrible. <laughs> but hey, you got to start somewhere. Some of that. Throw those in there as well. Uh, I think those are some of the oldest ones. Then I got this one shot. So this is one of six, and I only got one issue of it. But this is um, Justice League versus Suicide Squad. I don't think I even read it, uh, but I have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. <clears throat> then I got a couple of other one shots this is Batman the Court of Owls um, yeah this was like a dollar I forget why this is like I don't know I can't remember why I don't even know what this is about but I have it I know this was right around that same time yeah 2013 I remember that was around the time I started collecting and also this was as well so that these were like what are these DC comic essentials I don't even know what they were but the last essential that I just showed the Batman one that was December of 2013 this is January of 2014 so like the month after volume one Justice League is called origin so that was another one that I got a long time ago um, See, I gotta look. I gotta look everywhere. There's literally comics everywhere. This one is pretty cool. 
This was Justice League versus Power Rangers. So I started that. I got issues one, two, and three. And then I can't remember why I didn't continue the collection. Um, I think I think I moved away from the comic shop that I was at, and just couldn't find time to get over there and, and get them. But um, <clears throat> I don't remember the story much. But mo you know how most verses it's like a misunderstanding like when you put like two teams like that against each other it's like a misunderstanding and now we have an understanding now we're working together to take on the actual threat i'm pretty sure that's how that one goes um just like all the other verses that are out there now uh, let's see here this one's pretty old too well look at this dc this is convergence this was like this huge event for um for DC and I have no clue what happened in it because I got issue I got the zero issue and then I got issue one and I don't think I've ever read any one of them so yeah I can't I don't know what's going on with this but what year was this? This was in 2015. 2015 then then we got the DC Universe this is Rebirth Teen Titans so <clears throat> I got into the comics when it was the new 52 and then the rebirth came out after that and yeah now none of the uh, DC comics say that anymore they don't say rebirth but this is Teen Titans let's see I got issues one two three four five I got so I got six issues of them I'm pretty sure oh this one's uh, open here so six issues of them I'm pretty sure I had more issues than that, but um, I think this was right around that time where I just wasn't able to really get to uh, comic stores and uh, and buy them like I needed to. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one back. Don't laugh at the pink tape dispenser. My wife got it, but it's it's really good. It has two strips. It has two strips on there, and you just rotate it up and it automatically cuts them too, so it's pretty sick. That way I can uh, store this one properly. Alright, so there. DC, uh, DC collection looking kind of nice right now, I ain't gonna lie. Let's see. <clears throat> I am running out though. For DC. This one was pretty cool. I didn't read it fully, but this was Batman Ninja Turtles. So basically this story was if Batman was raised alongside the Ninja Turtles. So that junk was pretty cool. Had really nice art to it. And I believe this is the full collection here. It was about six issues long, I want to say. And it's a dope read. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to open these up and uh, and read them because I know I read like issues one through three or four, um, but then I stopped. But yeah, that one's a that one's a fun one. It's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm kind of on to the modern stuff now for DC. It looks like. Yeah, I think those are all Marvel. Yeah, so I'm pretty much on to the modern stuff. I do have a one, a one-off issue. This was uh, the New Gods, Dark Side Rules. This is the issue where uh, Dark Side Father first appears, Yuga Khan, and so I, I had to get this one. So that's just a one of. I'll go ahead and slot that in there. There's also, I got the first issue of Justice League versus the Legion of Superheroes. I could have swore I had like a second issue. Like I thought I read, I thought I read like a number two or something, but apparently not. So I just got the first issue there. Um, if I can remember, this one's, this one's pretty cool. God, I feel like I read a second issue. I don't know. That one's pretty cool. Um, 
a lot goes on in it. I can't really summarize it because I suck, but um, it, it's a, that's a pretty good one. I wish I had the more of it to read, but um, I don't. Um, and then I have the Monkey Prince. I'm pretty sure this is a variant issue. Yeah, this is variant. Uh, so Monkey Prince, which the story, the story is not like the so the character. I forget his name. This dude sucks because. He's like scared of everything and he's annoying, whiny, like he's that kind of person. I don't know. Yeah, that one, I'm good on the Monkey Prince. I, per I personally don't like it. I'm okay on that one. One thing I am enjoying is DC vs. Vampires. If you see my uh, top five comics to read, this was on there. I've really been enjoying this. This thing is such high stakes, like a lot of stuff happens in this like a lot of people die like the flash gets killed um people like all the heroes are turning into vampires and i'm missing issue five because my my comic book store for whatever reason didn't have this on my pull list so every time i'd go up there to pick up comics i'm like is there a new dc versus vampires out and they're like yeah and it's like why isn't it in my box so Hopefully the lady last time finally got on the box. So I did get issue six, but I'm missing issues five. So I've read um, all of these <clears throat> and I glanced into this one. I didn't read it, but I kind of poked around a little bit, saw that it looks like they finally killed Batman, turned Nightwing, and then also turned Damien as well. So. Yeah, that, that story is just high stakes, like, it's dope. And I think the last DC, unless I got some here. Nope, these are all Marvel. That's Marvel, Marvel. So the last DC is a stack of Superman, Son of Kal-El, which I have been reading all of it. This is the annual issue. And then I have all the issues from one to nine. Yeah, I think it's on issue nine. And so far it's it's been okay. Um I like it, but it's it's not a whole lot happening. Um you know, from Superman he's kind of being the uh the street level Superman. It's like, you know, things are happening but it's not really a threat to him at all. So it's kind of slow. It's a slow, slow read. It really hasn't picked up yet. And it's on, it's on issue nine and it, it really hasn't picked up, like just to be honest. But I think it's an interesting read though. I think it's good. This issue, some idiot tried to headbutt Superman. He's not, I don't even think he had like powers for real like that, but he, he tried to headbutt him and he messed himself up. Like it was, it was pretty funny. All right. So that is DC. The DC box is complete. Yeah. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to throw this in there too. This is called Wild Cards. No clue what it's about. I just know it's worth uh, worth a couple dollars or whatever. That's why I picked it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I'll put it at the top. I don't know how to boards in here. What the heck? Then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and secure these. Oh, okay. The DC box is done. That one's pretty thin. So, like I said, I don't have a lot of DC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this video up into two parts. So this is going to be the end of this video um, with just the DC stuff. 
And on the next video, I'll go ahead and put away this Marvel stuff and kind of show you guys uh, what I have. Just kind of look at the collection. But appreciate you guys for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you've read any of those issues that I showed you. Um, and then also subscribe. Thank you.